Gustar. Ok. With gustar is uh, conjugated differently of the verbs that we have seen before. Uh, in the all the verbs that we will see in this uh, in this lesson. Here, instead of yo, tú, él, ella, usted, nosotros, ellos, we use me, te, le, nos, les. Okay. And gusta is conjugated uh, depending if the word is singular or plural, meaning the thing that you like. Because gustar means to like, by the way. Express your likes. Um, so we're going to see in the examples. But well, let's read the exercises. And also, something that I almost forgot to mention, this part here that is in gray, and it is in parentheses on purpose, because this is optional. All right? You will see this happening, but it is optional if you want to emphasize, right? So we will say, uh, me gusta, gustan, or a mi me gusta, gustan, a ti te gusta, gustan, that slash n means that it could be either gusta or gustan, a él, ella, usted, le gusta, gustan, a nosotros, nosotras, nos gusta, gustan, a ellos, ellas, ustedes, les gusta, gustan. Me gusta mucho el café y me gusta más el cappuccino que el café negro. También me gustan mucho los gatos. Los domingos a mí me gusta caminar por la plaza con mis amigos y ver el paisaje. So, I like a lot of coffee. I like coffee a lot. I like cappuccino more than black coffee. I also like, uh, like cats a lot. So, you can see here, I use gusta because the word coffee or here gusta because the word cappuccino is singular those words are singular gustan here because i'm talking about cats so the word is singular so i use gustan los domingos a mí me gusta caminar por la plaza con mis amigos y ver el pasta. so on sundays i like to walk in the plaza with my friends and see the landscape. So here I'm using a me just to emphasize. I don't really need to use it. I could say los domingos me gusta caminar. And that's it. Más ejemplos. A mis gatos les gustan los juguetes con plumas y las pelotas. A ellos no les gustan los perros. Bien. So my cats are here. Instead of say a ellos. I'm using a my cats, a mis gatos. Uh, here, you can also say, substitute it by names or a name. A mis gatos, a mi mamá, a Carlos y María, a Julia. Okay? Now, it is necessary if you want to mention someone's name or something like mis gatos, mi mamá, mi papá, you need to start with a, right? You need to start with a. a. mis gatos les gustan. My cats like toys with feathers and balls. They don't like uh, dogs. Okay, let's see here. The, uh, the difference between gustar y querer. So, you know, querer is to want in this context here. And gustar is to like. So, ella quiere chocolate caliente. She wants hot chocolate. Talking about what she wants, maybe in the moment. And a él le gusta el chocolate caliente. He likes, remember this, a él is optional. He likes hot chocolate. Just selling what he likes. Nosotros queremos visitar a nuestros abuelos el fin de semana. So we want to visit our grandparents this weekend, el fin de semana, right? And here, I'm saying, we... Eh, a nosotros nos gusta visitar a nuestros abuelos los fines de semana. We like visiting our grandparents on weekends. A ella, opcional, it could be a ella, a María, a Julia, a Vanessa, etc. Le gustan los viajes largos en coche. She likes long trips eh, by car. Ella... 
quiere hacer viajes largos en coche. She wants it's a desire, right? She wants to to um to have. Let's say in this context will be to have long trips by car or long road trip. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing to my videos. That really helps me to create more and better content. I invite you to join the Spanish Language Hub, which is absolutely free. Here, you will have access to several resources, including unedited videos, audiobooks, exercises, flashcards, and regular interaction with me. We will also have Q&A and conversation sessions live on Zoom twice a month. Again, all of this 100% free. I look forward to see you there. Adiós.